Mic check. Mic check. Okay, let's do this. Hey guys, I don't think it's hard for you guys to know that I'm a foodie. I had a period of time in my life where I don't have a neck. That kind of sums up my relationship with food. And when I say foodie, I'm talking about someone who loves to eat and who loves food. And the struggle is trying to control this constant urge to consistently eat. Okay, that's not a foodie, that's just being a fatty. And the problem with being a foodie is that I don't really understand certain groups of people. And the first group of people that I don't understand are people who forget to eat and are too lazy to eat. And if you are in this group of people, I just want to honestly and sincerely ask a question. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who the fuck forgets to eat? What are you doing that is so important that you can forget to eat? Why don't you just, you know, forget to breathe or so? and just pass away. Do you even understand the meaning of hunger? Hunger can kill! And being too lazy to eat, seriously? Oh, I got no energy to eat. Isn't that the fucking point of eating? For you to get energy to do things? Why don't you just get yourself hospitalized and then you not have a glucose solution dripping into your blood vessels? And you don't have to eat forever already. And then some people actually need a timer to eat. <sighs> We already have that. It's called having a fucking brain. Shit. And don't even get me started on this other group of people who don't have preference when it comes to food. And if you're one of these people, you don't deserve to be happy. If you're having a meal with them and you ask them how is the food like and they'll be like, meh, meh, your head lah, meh. You go lah. Go eat grass lah. Meh. To these people, right, food is just a form of sustenance. They can eat the same fucking shit every single meal for the rest of their life. <sighs> Listen here, you dull motherfucker. You have taste buds for a reason. It's for you to embrace the beauty of flavors. To let you get in touch with your inner self and for you to realize that happiness can be bought. And you know what? Sometimes I pity these poor, poor souls. They don't know what it means to have a craving satisfied. It's like having sex without depending on someone else. Wait, that sounds like masturbation. Ah, and then there's another group of people full of shit. People who wants to eat healthy. I don't have problems with all the people who eat healthy, alright? It's a lifestyle choice, you know, you do whatever you want. But I'm talking about those who finds a constant need to tell you what you're eating is unhealthy and makes you feel bad about it. Fuck off! These people find a constant need to spread this gospel of healthy eating and they'll say things like healthy food can taste good too you fucking liar whoever says salad can taste good is fucking bullshitting the only salads that taste good are salads that are not healthy they have all the bacon bits and mayo and sauces and shit yes healthy food can taste good but guess what unhealthy food tastes way better and then these people uh, they also will tell you things like oh my god do you know how many calories those pineapple tarts have oh yeah yeah I know I know it's written on my finger here. Can see or not? Can see or not? And sometimes when you offer them really nice, delicious food, they'll reject you by saying things like, Oh, sorry, I don't really eat those unhealthy things. Do you know how long you have to run in order to get rid of those? Oh, you don't like this? Let me give you something else. Wait, wait. Oh, right. I forgot. I ran out of fucks to give. Some of these people are the most inconsistent people I've ever seen in my life. They walk into McDonald's, they order french fries, and then they try to shake off the salt of the french fries. You know, trying to reduce salt intake, it's not very healthy. Dude, you're in McDonald's. Fuck your healthy living. Okay, look, I understand that people have different preferences when it comes to food. And having no preference is a form of preference as well. I understand that. No, 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 I don't understand. And for those people who are afraid that certain diet can kill them, come on lah. Let me remind you something lah. We all have to die from a reason. It's not like you're gonna die and then tell me doctor, why did my father die? I don't know kid. With the diet that your father is following, he's supposed to live forever. But he died. What is this paradox? Hey guys! <laughs> so angry, so hungry. I hope you enjoy that rant. I know I keep asking people to die, but you don't have to take me seriously for it. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. See you guys next week. Bye! Fuck off! <laughs> so angry.